and Gail from Sky Sports News. Okay. Go. Um, shall we start uh, with the fitness of Ben, ben Chilwell? I imagine he's a bit ready to go, is he, for the weekend? If he's just been named in an England Yes, team. already got it. Told you, no, that he's, he's, he's fit. He's uh, back to the training. And uh, yes, I think he's everything going well. Tomorrow he will be, you know, again on the squad uh, for Sunday, yes. So it wasn't as bad as you first thought, and no doubt he's excited to be back with England? Uh, we didn't talk this morning about that because we were talking about us, but uh, about Chelsea. Uh, but of course, uh, player when uh, come back from injury, um, start to feel fit, and then uh, call up for the national team. Over there, so exciting for sure. He's exciting, like uh, you know the rest of the of the player. Um, I want to ask you about Cole Palmer. He gave a, a lovely interview after your game on Monday. He said, um, "I just, I was just hoping to make it into the Manchester City team at the beginning of the season, and now the prospect of." Being on the Euros is kind of beyond my wildest dreams. Um, he didn't last squad before the Euros. For you, what's been the biggest growth area for him? What's impressed you about him? And I think Southgate talked about the really big pressure moments, which is why he included him. But you get to see him day to day. I saw Gary, and we were talking a few days ago. Um, Yes, I seen. Uh, it's not surprise, but of course that he is showing uh, a great personality and character. I think in the way that he adapt really quick uh, to a new club like Chelsea, and adapt to the demand of the this coaching staff, and and of course to deal with the pressure to play in a big club like Chelsea. I think that make him special, and then his quality is there. That is why we go for him. The most, but this, I think the most important thing is how he deal with the pressure, and because we have some amazing players, but sometimes they struggle, and they need time to to deal. Um, yes, I think was was amazing in the way that he um, he adapt to the new club, and then he feel that was like uh, 20 year on this club. Play easy, didn't feel the pressure, and perform, you know, in the way that, you know, we, we, I don't know if we expect, but of course that he can do because the quality is there. And, and the third of them that made the squad yesterday, somebody who's been a part of it since the last World Cup, and Colin Gallagher, he's he's played very well for you all season, hasn't he? And you know, how much can you help him in these last few weeks try and? Get not just to the squad, but force his way into that England midfield. Uh, you asked me about to Connor. how yes yeah, to like what can you do? What makes you believe that he can go find his way into what is a very competitive place? But he's had a really good season behind him. Yeah, I think he says he is convincing the, the 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 manager of England manager, and because his commitment. Uh, is always 200 percent in every single, you know, appearance, um, uh, training, and he need to keep, you know, performing, and he need, uh, you know, with this commitment, uh, always because it's one of the his uh, best skills, no, um, is uh, the capacity to to always be ready to fight, to commit, to help, you know, and then showing his quality. Um, yes, he need to keep believing and doing, you know, trying to improve in, in this way. Uh, now the challenge is for him to score more goals, you know, and I think that uh, from the beginning of the season uh, was really tough for him. But now I think it was a scoring and I, he feel more confident and I think to now to, to grow in this direction is the most important thing for him. For you on Sunday, once again, one game away from Wembley. We know it's been very really tough at times this season. How much would that feel like a success, or do you have to go and win the cup for it to really feel like a success? I don't know because you know always it's a strange here to charge what means to be successful because it's difficult. You know sometimes the expectation are so high, sometimes it's so low, and it's depend of the the mood of the, of the day. Like uh, you know in England, sometimes it rains, sometimes it's sunny. I think uh, for us. 
to be again uh, to beat uh, laser in a private room inside of the dressing room in the in the training run will be massive for us uh, to have another you know game the possibility to play for this young team to play in in Wembley again because in between you and me some player didn't sleep the day before the final and that is only about to you know be more experienced and to live all together this type of situation that make us to to be better but of course for for us is a is a is again a, is to reach to the another semi final is going to be so good for us and the possibility to go to after you know to challenge to the final and and be in Europe in this in the through the the FA Cup will be massive uh, but first of all we need to sink in Leicester and is is doing really really well in the championship and it's a very good team we know very well the the players and of course the coach is doing fantastic and of course it's going to be tough to beat them No. no, no, no. But as a first job with management, when you look at what he's done with that side and the way they play football, yes, of course, fantastic job. He's generation. doing a fantastic job. To congratulate him, and now is the most tougher moment because the last period is where you need to be solid and confirm all that you were doing. But I think is they are doing fantastic. Thank you, Ruben. Mauricio, you said um, the players didn't sleep. Some, 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 some. Before the cup. Maybe fight. one. Some is maybe, you some know. Is more than one. Some is more than one. <laughs> yeah, but I need to say some. I cannot say one. <laughs> <laughs> does, okay, does some, that, some, some. Does that experience of playing at Wembley settle those nerves and help them in the future? Of course, always. We learn f through experience, you know. Positive, and you learn more from the negative. Uh, because with pain, you know, you 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 learn more, um, and of course, for sure, for sure, in in case to again to go to play to Wembley, for sure now uh, will be different. I thought Enzo and Caicedo were very good against Newcastle. Would you feel like that pairing is starting to gel a lot more in recent months? Yes, it's because it's always about time. It's about time to play together, to know each other, to to help each other and, and then the rest of the team. But of course that they are playing a lot and now Enzo is suspended for Sunday, he's not going to, to play. But I think we are happy in the way that the evolution is the, uh, uh, are. But the problem is, like always in Chelsea, the expectation is from the day one that we need to perform and to win games. But I think under our opinion and our judgment, they are improving and we are happy that that's happened. He, Last play, one, he plays a, a lot of minutes, Enzo Fernandez. Will that suspension on Sunday help him give him a bit of rest? Yes, and then it's an international break, and um, yes, he's going to travel with the with the national team. Um, and of course, uh, always you want to have your best player, but uh, I think we have player to replace him and, and to perform in the same way. And Simon, Athletic. Hey, Rick, so, uh, last week I asked you about financial results. And you said you're going to speak to the club about it. I didn't speak. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. No, they're true, they're true, they're true. I didn't speak. Yeah, and any reason? Because you said you, you were going to talk to them. Yeah, but we didn't have time to. And that is why. See, if the next few days or weeks, you know, we can, we can have more information, but I think the club will, we will inform better. Um, with more argument than, than me. But I think is yes, I we talk about everything, too many things to talk, but we didn't arrive to the that problem. Uh, you were at Brighton last Yes. Time. Was that to scout them for the next month or were you <laughs> looking at <laughs> No, no, it's not my job to scout. Uh, no, I we wanted to go because I seen in three weeks, hope no, uh, to play with we play Brighton in Brighton, and of course it was a good opportunity to watch in live football because we don't have time. We love to watch football on live, and it was a great opportunity because it's only 45 minutes from here, from Coban, and then we decide to go in the last moment, and I think it was good to watch a, a game, you know, where you are only a spectator and you enjoy the game rather to suffer, no? when you are on the 
-hmm. touchline. But I think it was good. It was good to watch Roma, uh, Brighton also. And, and uh, yes, it was good, Jesus, no? It was good. It was Jesus there eh, also. It was next to Paul. And, and last one, um, Raheem Sterling's left out the, the England squad. It's not looking like that he's going to make the European Championships. Have you had a word with him? Because there must be quite a blow for him. That, that yeah, but it's difficult to talk because what are they going to tell? It's difficult to, to talk. Uh, only we can, what we can do is to support him and to try to help him to perform here. And then it's not our decision. Of course, he needs to perform well in order to convince uh, Gareth. But, you know, it's not consolation. What I can tell him that make him uh, happy. Nothing. No, in football, it's like this. Thank you. Last question in this section, Rana. Mauricio, you just said that it was hard to judge what success was because it depends on the mood and the weather and everything. But yeah, but then I was more, don't take too seriously what I said. It's more about to, not to create a drama, you know? Yeah, um, I just wanted to get clarity on that. For the project you have, what will be success? Is it developing and getting players like Palmer, goes to Jackson to be performing consistently? or getting this club to win in trophy? Do, do you know, it's not inter interesting for the people or for the, you know, what I think or what means for me successful. If I say one thing is the, the people for sure go in another direction. The most, important, the most important is how the owner and the sporting director is going to charge, you know, our job. And that is depend of them. It's not depend of us. If you ask me, I can say to you and explain with all the circumstances and the, our reality what means success, uh, success for me, uh, successful, no? Be successful. But I think on then it's not important. The most important is what the owner think and the sporting director, how they are going to charge our shop, not through the rest also about the process because we arrive here to, you know, to try to work helping, you know, in a project that was completely different than the, in the past in this club. And, and then, look, we are doing everything to try to be very supportive, to, be, to help in all the things that, uh, you know, um, the club is building here in all the areas, you know, to try to add our knowledge, you know, in benefit of the club for the future, for creating something different.